Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel after a long break. In today's video, I will be sharing valuable information about the admission process for master's program at Frederick Alexander University in Germany. So without further intro, let's dive in. The first step is to explore the available English taught master's programs. Simply go do a quick search on Google, click on the first link that appears. On this page, you will find a list of courses along with their respective start semester. Take note that many of these programs require a qualification assessment test. If you click on a specific course, you will be redirected to a detailed page providing information such as application deadline, requirements, and many more. It's crucial to thoroughly review these deadlines details to ensure that you met all the requirements, otherwise your application may be rejected. While German language skills are not mandatory, it's recommended to submit an English language proficiency certificate of at least level B2 uh, for many of the courses. But some of the courses don't require an English language proficiency certificate. Rather, if you have completed your first degree in English, then you can apply through your medium of instructions. Also, these language requirements may vary from subject to subject. Make sure the application deadline. This application deadline vary by subject with some courses having deadline on November 13th, uh, November 30 and others on January 15th. Now let's have a look on this page, applying for master's degree program or a PhD. I will provide all these links in the video description. So first of all, check the check this portion, I mean the checklist portion for international students and supporting documents for application for master's degree program. If you are from India, there's essential information about the APS certificate and its exception. Please go through this carefully uh, so that you don't miss any of these important informations. Scroll down a bit to check if you meet the minimum ECTS credit requirements. Please check this portion. Check you check you meet the requirements here they have described uh, for which uh, programs uh, what is the minimum uh, ECTS credit requirements. Now let's go through the checklist for application. You will require a CV German language test verification certificate if required, a school leaving certificate official translation of school leaving certificate if they are not in English or German. Similarly, you will require university degree certificate or diploma supplement, official translation of university degree certificate and diploma supplement, complete academic record or transcript of the record, official translation of the complete academic report or transcript of the record. Along with that, you might require some additional supporting documents for master's programs. Note that some courses may not require an English language certificate if your first degree was completed in English. Some of the programs might require English proficiency level C1. So go through this page and uh, make sure your requirements for desired master's program. Now let's move on to the Campo portal. I will guide you on how to register for the Campo portal. Start by changing the language. Then click on the applicant step. Now click register at IDM. Register at IDM by filling in the required field marked with an asterisk sign. If you have registered before, there's no need to do it again. In case of issues with multiple first name, reach out to the IDM support team. While I was registering for 
uh, I faced issues with my first name. As you can see here, there are too many spaces between my first names. Uh, so, I was not able to uh, submit my forms. So, I instantly mail them and they come out with a suggestion for me. They suggested me to uh, write my first name uh, this way and uh, after successful completion of the registration mail them again to correct my name and fill the rest of the fields follow the instruction man follow the support specified pattern for mobile number or phone number solve the capture and you can also go through these terms of use and privacy issues and check the checkbox and then hit submit button you will receive an email with further instruction to complete your registration. After registration, log in to the Campo portal using your IDM ID and password. Stay tuned for the next part. Here where I will show you how to apply for the master's program. If you find this information helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more valuable content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next part.